Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I met uh, Anisha when she came to my cooking class, and she really enjoyed the hands on experience uh, to stir frying in the wok for the first time. And she told me that she couldn't wait uh, to get home to make her favorite Chinese dish. And she told me that uh, the first thing that she tried uh, is a recipe of uh, Kung Pao chicken. And she told me that it did not go very well uh, because uh, she find that uh, all the time she has to rush and she has to really hustle and she scurry around uh, try to collect all the ingredients and then the stir frying process turned out to be both frustrating and challenging. And she told me that cooking this dish uh, there's simply too many things going on at the same time. And so after trying a couple more times, uh, she simply gave up and she put her walk away. Uh, she was definitely not the first person I uh, had this experience because over the years, I have uh, many students, uh, they went through my cooking class. They were very excited uh, during the class, but after they got home, they find uh, the system is actually too complicated uh, for them. So Anisha asked me, uh, can I provide her a very simple recipe so that she can become comfortable in stir frying with the wok? And she told me that she would like to find a dish that she can practice on that is simple enough that she can do it anytime she wants. I told her that I have exactly the dish that I think she should try. A flu this dish, I told Anisha that uh, she would learn how to season and uh, maintain the wok. Also, um, she would learn the role of advanced prepping. And by using template based cooking, uh, she's able to continue to improve the flavor of the dish uh, to match her preference. I introduced this uh, egg dish to Anisha. This is actually uh, a dish to which I call it a scrambled because it's a combination between scrambled egg and an omelette. And through this dish, uh, Anisha will be able to see the four attributes of my fast cooking system, uh, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. Uh, this dish will provide Anisha a good introduction on how to cook a very simple dish, but at the same time, uh, she will gain practical experience to cook more complicated dish later on. And then she discovered to cook this dish, she only needs eggs and frozen vegetables. Uh, there's no advanced prepping. All she needs is some frozen vegetable mix that she can store in the freezer and it will be available to her anytime she wants. And then she needs some eggs which is always available in her refrigerator. Furthermore, this dish is extremely fast to cook. It takes less than 4 minutes. Uh, Anisha cooked this dish in her 14-inch Cucina stainless steel wok. Uh, she started out with about 2 tablespoons of canola oil. Uh, but you can use any vegetable oil that you would like, as long as it has a high smoking point. In order to cook this dish successfully, uh, the wok must have a non-stick cook surface. And you can season the wok, uh, use my spot seasoning method to create such a non-stick cook surface. And whether you use a stainless steel wok or a carbon steel wok, it is always a good idea to go through this process. It is very simple, all you have to do is to heat up the oil until it starts to smoke gently. Then you turn down the heat. You let the oil to smoke for another 10 to 15 seconds. And this is the time when the wok is being seasoned. And if you'd like to learn more about this spot seasoning method, you can take a look at this video. Uh, Anisha find that cooking this dish is extremely useful to her uh, because this is a good opportunity for her to master the spot seasoning method. Uh, she knows that if the method is not applied properly, uh, the egg will stick to the surface of the wok. Uh, she has no problem to get this method to work every time. But she told me that it is a really great opportunity for her to practice this over and over again so that it becomes a habit each time before she starts to stir fry. 
And when she no longer has to think about it, she can focus on the cooking. After the oil has smoked for 15 seconds, she pours the egg directly into the wok. And she told me that when she saw the egg start to bubble, she knew that is a good sign. And she used the wok spatula to push the cooked egg out of the way, and you can see that the egg do not stick to the wok at all. In a matter of a few seconds, uh, she poured the frozen vegetable right over the egg. Another reason that this dish is so fast and so easy to cook is that you don't need to thaw out the frozen vegetable. You can take it directly from the freezer to the wok. And the reason that this dish is called scrambled because it is a combination of the technique in making a scrambled egg and an omelette at the same time. I should use the wok spatula to fold the egg over the frozen vegetables as you would be doing when you make an omelette. As you notice here, she also scrambled the egg, but she did it very gently. And so consequently, this dish has the characteristics both of an omelette as well as a scrambled egg. Only after a few quick stir, the dish is done. And the total cook time is only about 3 minutes. Uh, Anisha told me that this is truly amazing. Uh, when you consider uh, you can cook a dish from all fresh and whole ingredients in less than 3 minutes. Uh, furthermore, uh, she doesn't have to worry about uh, advanced prepping. In fact, there's no prepping at all uh, other than to beat up the eggs as well as to remove the frozen vegetable from the freezer. Uh, Anisha told me that after she uh, got a hand of how to cook this dish, uh, she start to cook this dish almost every night. Uh, she wants to use this opportunity uh, to work out some of the sequences that she need to follow uh, for using the wok. Uh, she start to time herself the amount of time that she needs uh, to cook this dish from the time when she walked into the kitchen. Uh, she start to uh, keep track of how long will it take uh, for her to get ready to cook. Uh, she learned how to get everything ready as quickly as possible. Uh, getting ready to cook this dish is very simple, and so she can work out the routine and get the flow. And she also find out that if she wants to cook on a regular basis, uh, what is the best way for her to store her wok? Also, each time when she cook, uh, she develop a better habit of four spot seasoning her wok, and that become a natural set of event for her. And as the saying goes, uh, practice makes perfect. And cooking this dish by no means mundane or repetitious because there are many variations to cook the egg. And here is an example that instead of uh, breaking up the egg in advance, uh, she cracked the egg directly into the wok. And by frying the egg intact with the egg yolk separate from the egg white, it creates a very different texture for this dish. And the separation of the egg yolk and egg whites uh, provide different flavor uh, to the eggs. After repeat the, this cooking process a, a few times, uh, Anisha start to see variations that she could introduce into the dish. Uh, the overall cooking method is relatively the same, and this you can consider to be as a general template, but you can modify the template as in this case by stir-frying the egg slightly differently. So it is worthwhile uh, to repeat this dish over and over again so you can see the type of variations that you can come up with. So for about uh, two weeks, uh, Anisha will cook this dish every single night. And she will make uh, variations according to what is available to her. Uh, sometimes uh, she will substitute the frozen vegetables uh, with frozen corn or frozen peas. And occasionally, she will also add frozen edamame. So she not only can change uh, the ingredients, but she also change the ratio of the combination. Uh, furthermore, she can season the dish differently each time. Uh, in this case, she uh, garnished the dish with some oyster sauce. 
Another time, if she feel like to have something spicy, uh, she will garnish it with some sriracha sauce. Uh, so my recommendation to you is that uh, this dish would be a great dish for you to get familiar with using the wok. And by cooking this dish repeatedly, uh, you can work out the procedure of how to get things set up before you start to cook. Uh, this will help you to get everything in place as the French culinary term mise en place suggests, have everything all set up before you start to cook. And this will make your cooking more efficient as well as more enjoyable. Uh, Anisha told me that uh, this really helped her to build confidence in her cooking. I strongly recommend you to give this a try. I think it will help you to uh, make uh, wok cooking more uh, efficient uh, as well as uh, more become a habit uh, for you to uh, think of it every day. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. Uh, so uh, if you want to learn more about this cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.